All right, good afternoon, folks. It is, uh, it is of course, the two days before Christmas, uh, as we talked about in the blog earlier. Uh, let's get straight to the weather outside. Uh, Luzometer for tomorrow, uh, a much nicer day tomorrow than today. We're going with the 7 with a high of 58 degrees. All right, so here's the setup. Tornado watch now in effect across all of North Georgia. This is until 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, damaging winds potentially. Uh, we've also got the threat for hail and unfortunately some isolated tornadoes as well. But the tornado threat is not as high as uh, flooding. We'll, uh, we'll have that tornado index, that severe weather index, a little bit later on tonight at 6 o'clock. And uh, we'll talk about then as well. All right, uh, let's get to uh, the new toy we have in house. This, my friends, is, uh, is our new graphic there. There we go. Uh, was not going to debut this until next week. This is our new 11 Alive radar. So Live 11 Alive radar can do a, a whole lot of different things. Uh, this, of course, is going to be a little bit later than what you are expected seeing when it comes out a little bit later on. This is uh, as of, uh, let's see, 420. So uh, there's one storm moving northeast at around uh, 30 miles per hour, uh, moving towards uh, Fruit Thirst, Tallapoosa, uh, Buchanan and Drake Town. These are all towards Alabama. Uh, there is one area out there towards uh, towards our state that is going to be moving into, and that is of course Tallapoosa. Uh, but again, that is mainly out for uh, portions of Alabama. Uh, the ne the next area is out by Cedar Town. This one moving northeast around uh, 35 miles per hour as well, and uh, that moves in towards uh, Cedar Town. Right, let me see if I can move this here for you. Again, we are just learning this uh, new system as we speak. So Cedar Town by about. Uh, 17 minutes from now, uh, 34 minutes from now to Lindale and Taylorsville uh, by 40, uh, 42 minutes. So again, that's heading in this direction. As of right now, uh, there have been tornado warnings, but no confirmed tornadoes in parts of Alabama. Uh, but this thing again is moving off towards the east northeast at around 35 miles per hour. Uh, let me show you some of these rainfall rates we have. See if we can get the rainfall rates uh, query to come up here. And uh, uh, looking at some pretty impressive rainfall rates here. Uh, some of the accumulation out on portions of Alabama uh, have seen quite a bit. Uh, look at that, it is raining at three and a quarter inch per hour out there in, in parts of Alabama. So uh, that is heading in this direction. So that is our new radar system. Uh, we will hone it in a little more as we go through the next couple of days. Um, but nonetheless, we're gonna debut it on Monday, but we're debuting it tonight because we have storms in the area. A lot of moisture out there. Welcome to winter. Right now we're in the mid upper 60s across the state. Check it out, 68 in LaGrange, Atlanta at 68 degrees, and here comes the storms. Here comes the rain. There were a lot of tornado warnings earlier in Alabama, and no confirmed yet, but uh, here comes all the rain. That's going to move in here over the next couple of hours and uh, really give us a chance for seeing some pretty strong thunderstorms. Right now I think the main threat again is going to be wind and potentially flooding. Flooding. By 11 o'clock, this system is out of here. Uh, by tomorrow, it looks uh, more more on the partly cloudy side. A couple showers possible in the morning time, but for the most part, tomorrow, a much, much nicer day. Here's your Skycast planner for today. Uh, 62 at 7 o'clock tonight. Down to about 62 by the morning time. All right, uh, we'll have another update on the blog, of course, coming up a little bit later, and we'll uh, keep track of the system here for you throughout the day.